Welcome back to Ruby's Kitchen. Today we will make restaurant style mash dal with raita. This lentil dish is really nice to have for lunch or for dinner, and you can eat it with paratha, roti, or naan. Wow, it looks delicious. Let's get started. The very first thing you will need to do is take some mash dal and soak it in some water for two to three hours, or you can leave it for overnight. After they have sat in the water, you will then boil some water on the stove. Then go ahead and add the dal in the water and let it boil. Let it boil for two to three minutes. While the dal is boiling, we will prepare the turka. You will add some oil in a pan. I used olive oil because it adds a very nice flavor. Add some onions to the oil. Let the onions come to a golden brown color. The dal has been boiling for two minutes. Go ahead and drain and wash it. Now the onions have turned golden brown and now we will add some ginger and garlic paste. Add some tomatoes. Add some green chili sauce according to your taste. Add some red chili sauce according to your taste. And if you would like to know the recipe, then comment down below because this is actually homemade. Add one spoon of turmeric powder, one spoon of cumin seeds, half a spoon of salt, add half a cup of water, and mix well. Make sure it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Add a little bit of galbanji. Add a little bit of ajwain. This is really good for digestion. Add two spoons of yogurt. Go ahead and add the mash doll that we boiled before. Mix it and let it saute for two to three minutes. Now add two cups of water. Now let it cook and let the water dry out. While the dal is cooking, we will go ahead and make some raita. For the raita, the very first thing you will need is some plain yogurt. You can use as much as you want. Add a spoon of cumin seeds. And mix them up. Add some green peppers. some tomatoes, and some red onions. Add some chopped cucumbers. For these veggies, you can use as much as you want. Now go ahead and mix. Now the raita is ready. Now we will go back to the dal. The dal has been cooked and now we will add some dry methi and some dry coriander powder. Add some fresh coriander. You will then add some butter. You don't have to if you don't want to but I just do it because I like the taste of it. Go ahead and turn the heat off. Now the dal is ready and now we will dish it out. Okay guys, the dish is ready and this is what it looks like. It looks very good. You can eat this with naan, roti, or prata or any other type of bread you like to eat it with. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family.